Open VESC tool. Click Auto Connect to connect to the board. Then calibrate the motor. Skip the specific steps quickly. Please refer to the previous course. After calibration is complete, open the real-time data button. Click Data Analysis, Real-Time Data, UPM. The real-time speed of the motor can be observed. Enter 10 amps in the iBox in the lower left corner, and click the button next to it to control the current of the motor. It can be observed that the motor speed at this time is about 24,300 ERPM. Click the stop button to stop the motor. Click FOC in the column above to observe the current and voltage waveform of the motor. Control the motor to rotate in current mode again. Observe the changes in the waveform graph. Click Motor Settings, FOC, Field Weakening to set the Field Weakening parameters. Change the value of Field Weakening Current, and inject the corresponding current value into the motor. Set to 1 Amp and press the right motor configuration button in the right column to upload parameters. Return to Real-Time Data Monitoring Interface. Control the motor in current mode. It can be observed that the motor speed is about 24,400 ERPM. It has increased compared with before the field weakening parameters were set. Observe FOC real-time data. It can be observed that the D current, blue, is different compared to before. Modify the maximum value of weak magnetic field current to 3 amps. Control the motor rotation again. The rotation speed is about 24,700 ERPM. The D current is approximately the set value 3 amps. Modify the injection current to 5 amps. When the motor rotates, the speed is about 25,000 ERPM, and the D current is about 5 amps. Set parameters to 10 amps. Control the motor to rotate. The speed is about 25,700 ERPM, and the D current is 10 amps. It should be noted that the set maximum field weakening current must not exceed the maximum motor current. Otherwise there is a possibility of stalling. The video ends here. Thank you for watching.